Hey there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Local Influencers Podcast. I'm your host, Abel, and on today's podcast, guys, I have Carlos from Produce Good, Goods and Produce Gallery. Carlos, what up? thank you for being on. Yeah, of course. It's great to be here. Yeah, so Produce Man has been around for a little while now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I over a decade. My- yeah, I remember. I wasn't going to age either one of us, but uh, <laughs> it's been around for a while. I remember being younger and my cousin actually would hang out at the mm-hmm. gallery a lot and mm-hmm. she'd go to a lot of things there. And so mm-hmm. um, um, I'm just, you know, thank you for spending time. And it's kind of I know it's evolved over the decade, right? <laughs> it's evolved quite a bit. Absolutely. It, it yeah. evolved. It, it even like died for a little bit and then came back to life. You know what I'm saying? There you go. And, uh, so let's just start off from the beginning. How produce? How did you get started with that? What's going on? How how did you? How did you like? You know what? Let's get into this. You know the gallery portion, and then mm-hmm. you know produce goods. How did all this evolve? Yeah, well, of course. Well, I mean, the thing is, is it was something like it had been a dream for a while, and something that we had always discussed. You know, trying to get like a building downtown where we could have a, a a shop really the first was a shop and then um dusty was also looking for a like a studio so we were kind of trying to find a space that would like serve both uh both needs and then we found this building downtown and it's like okay like this is probably this is this is going to be the spot right here and it even had like extra spaces so we could we could add a gallery because the gallery was still kind of just a, a dream at the time you know um but yeah, once we opened in in uh, we opened in October of 2010, and we had actually been in the building for like about a year, about a year and a half before we actually opened open to the public. And um, yeah, we I mean, so we've been open since 2010, and then um, uh, we started off with the shop, and then of course uh, uh, a couple years ago we did like a major renovation in the building, and then we we made the shop a little bit smaller. We we took a uh, uh, there was an old bar that had been around like since the seventies that was called Hanks and we basically gutted Hanks. Okay. And then we, um, we, we, we put the gallery in there because for a long time, the gallery had been in um, a space like a couple doors over. And then that space, we ended up renting it to uh, now what, what is a uh, commons, um, which uh, is a cute, cute little shop. And yeah, so, Sierra, Sierra yeah. Shop. Yeah, Sierra's awesome. So she she runs Commons out of what used to be the the gallery, um, because we stopped we stopped running the gallery for about three or four years. Um, it was kind of just difficult to keep up. And then when we were doing renovations, you know what I mean? It was just like it was just like a lot to 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 to, to sort of have going on at one time. And so we sort of gave it up for a little bit. And then, but the plan was always to sort of bring it back and reimagine it and like make it you know better than what we had it originally. You know what I'm saying? So we finally done that. We opened uh, the gallery. We opened uh, uh, and the shop again after the renovation. We opened in uh, July, and so we've been almost like we're coming on one whole year of like uh, our reopening. Um, so like we we were, we basically were in business for like ten years, and then we like fixed everything up, and now we're hoping to set ourselves up for the next ten years. You know what I'm saying? There you go. You had to pivot. You had to take time. Like they always say, like take, you know, you got to slow down to speed up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. and so that is cool and i i was glad to have you on i'm excited too like i said i i've known a produce for a long time because um just because like i said my cousin used to hang out there a lot and it's uh-huh. just like it's kind of one of the very first of its kind like in the city that was made it's been a major like everyone knows produce <laughs> everyone knows, right? if you're for from sure. the coastal band like everyone has heard of it everyone knows right for sure so for the listeners that may not know exactly you know we're kind of talking about the gallery and stuff mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what is the concept of produce like, can you just tell the people that may not have heard of it like for the people are out of town listeners probably because everyone here sure. corpus knows <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, well even a lot of people that. here don't, in corpus don't really yeah. even always yeah. know but um basically okay so produce is like a corporation it's a it's a company um, and, uh, uh, that it, it, it encompasses several things. It encompasses, um, the, the, the shop, which is like where we sell our clothes, which is where I'm at right now, which you see behind me. Um, you see like all our, our gear, um, on the wall behind me right there. So there's the shop. And then we also have to like a creative, um, aspect of it. So like, we're doing like things like logos, uh, um, 
uh, 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 photo shoots, um, different things for different brands, like working creatively um, uh, with different people to sort of like bring their business visions to life, so to speak. And then, um, and then there's the 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 uh, studio aspect, which is what Dusty Dusty runs. That which is like Americana label and then produce sound studios. And then so that's like the whole recording um, studio where where they I mean they record everybody from like Tejano bands to rock bands to like uh, hip hop. I mean we've got all kinds of like even like some cool like experimental stuff. Like so we've got all kinds of people coming in here and 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 recording music, recording uh, uh, voiceovers, recording sounds, whatever. And then. Um, and then, and then next to that is the is is the gallery. So it's really kind of like those those four things: the shop, the creative, the sound studios, and then the gallery. That's kind of what what like produce you know sort of is. And then of course within the shop, there's like the the clothing. So that's a big part of the shop. Like a lot of the clothing that's in our shop, um, not all of it, but you know a good majority of it is stuff that we made ourselves and we made here in house. So um, yeah. So that's another sort of the, the the fashion aspect is 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 a big part of what we do as well. So yeah, sort of like creative, a little bit of creative, a little bit of fashion, art. Um, you know, we're like creative problem solvers, and so we do these like big kind of weird projects, like just you know doing more than just like regular logos and things like that. We're trying to do like, you know, we're trying to help companies whenever they're like, you know, we got this issue, which you know we we got this problem, you know, we need you guys to help us sort of rebrand ourselves or re-identify ourselves or to introduce us to to the community or whatever and so that's kind of our thing that is awesome and and like i said i know it has evolved over time and like as everything should and does mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and i love that i might have to hit you up soon because we're starting a convention next year that is actually we're signing this week the contract mm -hmm. and um we're gonna have our very first convention this year uh, next year so oh cool uh, might have to hit you up for that are you trying <laughs> to bring what are you trying to do are you trying to bring like all your uh like you're trying to bring a bunch of locals together to sort of uh, like what's so the point it, of it uh, so it's called um, just to kind of for a sidestep. It's a called mm -hmm. Coastal Bend Creator Con, mm -hmm. and so it's going to be a place for we're going to have. Uh, I really, I guess, I can't say where yet. I guess some people yeah. can guess. But, yeah, <laughs> uh, people could guess where, but um, we're going to have uh, multiple areas in this location, and we're going to have panels talking about how to build a brand on social media. Cool. So like people, like big influencers from out of town and stuff. How cool. to be successful on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, because they're all different. Yeah, of and course. Then, mm -hmm. And then um, also where our other location is going to be like upstairs is going to be a vendor space. And okay. we're going to mm -hmm. have small businesses there mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. from local, but we're going to be targeting larger markets with our ads and stuff to come and visit the coastal bend so that's cool uh, yeah so yeah that sounds like a good time yeah we're i'm definitely down to help we're definitely down to help let us know anything you need for that sure so our listeners out there watch out <laughs> we, have a, we, have already, we have the date yeah i'm just like i don't want to give it away yet <laughs> of course no i got you i got you yeah you got to do it slowly yeah that's good to so, hear though that's good to hear that people are doing these kinds of things that's what i love about corpus like I feel like a lot of people are doing a lot of stuff now and that's that's good that's good for everybody you know mm -hmm. yeah i partner we i have uh 14 uh content creators and uh on the team and everyone brings something different and so mm -hmm. it's awesome to see you know um, yeah and i i like doing things like this like talking to people like you other creatives and other just like business owners like it's very inspiring to me you know um, yeah and so the gallery, I know that I love that it's like an all-in-one kind of space. So you could do mm -hmm. multiple things with the space. I've, mm -hmm. I've this space, spaces like this exist in larger cities, like in Houston. I live there. I it, the places like this exist, but in Corpus, <laughs> you know, there really isn't <laughs> There's much a lot. of a scene yeah. here, right? It was where yeah. I think we're we're slowly starting to kind of get that scene. As you know, uh, I don't know how old you are, but I know like my generation as are the millennials and mm -hmm, as we start mm -hmm. kind of taking over things mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. i think corpus no i mean i'm a millennial too so like okay. i feel you like that's the point like um like we're like we are slowly starting to like take over and to do these yeah. things that are that are really cool and like we i mean we were lucky to kind of do it like a little bit earlier to be able to do it like to kind of sort of like lead the way but to show people like oh like this is possible like you can do it you know what i'm saying you just gotta like organize yourself and like just really like think about it i mean like a big part of like life is just like 
just doing it, just showing up and like, you know, making, forming the LLC, you know what I mean? Like just even that step, you know what I mean? Like that's a, it's a huge thing. You do that. And it's like, it opens up a world of possibilities to you. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of what we're all about, you know? <clears throat> so in your evolution of produce and uh, everything that you've come through for our listeners that may be interested in starting up some kind of business mm -hmm. or some kind of creative thing mm -hmm. of their own, what are a couple of tips that you'd give them that maybe you've learned along the way that you're like, man, you know, I wish someone would have told me X. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, right. I, I understand. Being an entrepreneur is hard. And that seems like it seems like that's the way like a lot of things are going. A lot of people are, are, are starting to sort of start their own thing and, and come up with their own idea. And that's like a that's a that's actually a really I think that's a very positive thing. You know, um, it just means more, you know, that there's better ideas out there and that people are putting stuff out there. But I would say definitely like one of the like the big things is is like it is important to like um, to form an LLC. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't want to take that sort of extra step, but it's important because what it does is is it it separates like you from the business, right? And like it's a lot easier to tell like if you're making money, you know what I mean? How much money you're making? Like you know. Um, uh, of course, like there's a whole bunch of legal aspects, but it's just good to have that like separation between your own personal finances and the business's finances. So that way you can like clearly see like what's coming in, what's going out, what am I spending on the business, right? Nothing's getting like confused in in in, in your mind. And then the, the the big thing that that I found is is that you like other businesses businesses want to do business with other businesses. Like, you know what I'm saying? Businesses yeah. don't want to do business with like some, some kid, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. they want to do business with another business. And like, so that's an important part of like presenting yourself to the world, like professionally, right? Like that, that, Hey, this is like a real thing. This, 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 w whether it's you're selling, like, it doesn't matter if you're selling like t-shirts, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're or you know, if you're selling, you know, a computer, whatever it is, right? Like, like having that clear delineation between yourself and between what it is that your 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 product that you're trying to make and your business, uh, that's like really really important. And then of course like like just like branding, like some people really get it, and then some people just like totally overlook it. Like they don't they don't see its importance, you know. And like it's like it's so important. It's a it's a big part of the 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 initial investment of starting a company and i think that that's like the thing that like people don't understand it's like it's like you really kind of only pay for the logo once you know what i'm saying like you know what i mean is that you don't like you don't like once you, yeah then it's yours like you got it so like it's not like you have to keep paying for the thing right so like i think that that's like that's like those things need to be because when you start a business it's like okay like I need to start like start a business like you know what I mean and I know that that means like paying you know three hundred dollars to the secretary of state or whatever but like these things are important because then you can go and get a bank account right like a separate bank account uh, separate from your bank account right and then you can start to do these things and then you, and then and then you know you earn the trust of other businesses because other businesses like know that you've been around for a while and that's a big part of like you know you talk about like producers evolution that was like a big thought a part of the things that we had to learn, right? Like, like when we first started, it was wild. It was crazy. People just coming in with money and just you know, pitching in whenever, you know, to pay the light bill, you know what I'm saying? And then slowly over time, I was like, all right, we can't, we, it can't be like this anymore. Yeah. You know like, this is too crazy. Cause it's like, you know, we need to like, we need to like do this right. And so like, that's one of the things that, that sort of, I wish I knew sort of starting off and that, that I would say that, you know, for people to, to, to think about whenever they, if they really want to start a business, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, that's a really, really good advice. That seems mm -hmm. that like, you know, like uh, especially for you having like a brick and mortar kind of place and like the mm -hmm. creative space, it's like everything is fine. Everybody loves you until they don't. Exactly. So having that LLC business is like a, a layer of protection between you and your business because the moment someone Whoop. trips and hates you. For sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you, you know what? Too, the other thing too is, is that like, okay, like I'm in business with my friends too, right? Mm -hmm. And what I found is, is, is that like, by having it a business, it's been able to like, we've been able to stay friends, you know, because of that, right? Like whenever it was all a bunch of individuals, well, then everything gets real personal. You know what I'm saying? But when it's a business, well, it's just, it's a business. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a thing that like, it's this separate, it's not me. You know what I mean? It's not me coming through well with my $50 of the light bill, right? It's like, it's the work that we all put in and, and like it, it's in the bank account. Like it's just, it, it is what it is. And so, um, 
that's like, I think that's helped. Like just from a, a you know, people start a businesses, businesses with their friends all the time. And that's like an important thing too. Like, you know, and that's, you know, when, if you're a creator, like you should like, dude, I have multiple LLCs. You know what I'm saying? I have like, I don't know, like four at this it's point, like, I have like four or five of them. I have snacks. It's like me with and, websites. I have like, yeah, websites. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like it's like, it's, it, you, you, it, it's okay to have these multiple things. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's, it's, it, it really isn't a bad thing. I mean, like kind of sucks when you have the taxes and you got to sort of figure all that out. But I mean, that's just, that's part of it too. That's part of being a grown up, And that's part of like, you know, having a business, you want to, you want to be real, you want to have a real business and then you got it, you know, you got to do these things. So, um, yeah, that's just kind of, that's kind of what I would say. <laughs> yeah. And I, if you had, I'm going to put you on the spot. If you had to pick mm-hmm. one of your favorite, like, you know, some a multi-layered, uh type of thing that you do if you had to pick your favorite thing to do what is your favorite thing is it like the shop portion is it the gallery is it the creative space if i Ooh. if you had to pick one just putting it on the spot well, for right me now. it's the, okay well for <laughs> me it's the gallery for sure because the gallery is also too kind of like the gallery is sort of like my thing you know yeah. what i'm saying like it's every, i mean it's everybody's thing of course but it's like it's like it's it's i mean i've curated and it's like so it's like it, you know a lot of the things that that go that are in the gallery are sort of they come from my brain you know what I mean or people that I know or connections that I made or like um, artists that I found that I like brought in you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so um, and then even I mean and then of course other people know stuff too and everybody's always willing to help and that's that that's but like yeah the gra- the the gallery is sort of like what I always sort of gravitate to it's like you know. Um, like we, we like it's like the skunk works. I don't even ever heard this. There's this word. It's, this term is called skunk works, right? And skunk works is like um, it's a term like in business. It's like a skunk works is like an organization within a company that kind of like does its own thing, right? And that works on like secret projects and like <laughs> advanced things and like kind of exists outside of the 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 red tape of the company. And that's like what produce gallery is like to produce like we just kind of do our own thing, you know, we're still produce, but it's also to this like other, is this other like sort of entity that's, that's working on things that like even other people at produce don't even know what, what, what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like half the time, like, for example, like the, like we just did this April Fools event. Right. I saw that. Yep. And like, that's like, um, that was like, uh, <clears throat> like a lot of that planning, was going on like outside of, you know, the normal channel, the normal day to day of produce. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of that was going on through produce gallery. So like, that's, that, that's kind of what I mean by that, you know? Yeah. I, I saw that that event, I was actually, uh, I was trying to get to it, but I think I was out of town when it happened. Mm-hmm. I, um, but uh, I've actually been trying to get out a lot more to like, cause I interview so many people here. And so like when I go somewhere now, it's like, um, I know someone somewhere now and it's kind yeah. of weird. It's kind of weird to be in that position. But at the same time, it's also, I'm very, I feel very fortunate because everyone mm-hmm. here, like all the entrepreneurs, creators, business owners that I've talked to, everyone is like on the same wavelength. And we're all, and it's funny because mm-hmm. everyone's either younger than being a little bit like, so Gen Z or millennial. And it's yeah. like, everyone is very like, let's get this thing going. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> no, and, for sure. People want to help. That's cool. And it's funny that, you know, I'm glad that you mentioned about starting a business like with your friends, like, like even with the team that I have now, like our convention really isn't happening until over a year from now. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. everyone is kind of like volunteering right now. But even at that point, we all have contracts. Yes. Like, you know, we have contracts yeah. leading up until next year, like, mm-hmm. and then next year with the, uh, you know, every, you know, every contract has something, but it's important. I want to like everyone on the team to feel like they were protected mm-hmm. because everyone mm-hmm. on the team has quite a bit of a following. And I want them to know like, Hey, your stuff's protected. You're protected. Yeah. This is all I want from you, you know? For sure. I mean? And so 100%. I'm glad that you pointed that out. Cause I think a lot of people overlook things like that. Like mm-hmm. it can mm-hmm. get messy quick. You know what I no, mean? No, it can. And that's why, that's why I think like, man, just like having it like, you know, cause the thing about when you start a business like that, like it makes everything transparent. Right. Like yep. it's like we all see the bank account. Everybody yep. can go look. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not I mean, it's not just me. Like everybody can go see what the what's coming in, what's going out. Like there's no there's like if some money gets spent, it's like, OK, we see like who, who spent it. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. so it's not you know, it's not um, it, it, it just makes everything so much easier to keep track of. And it like it just keep no one gets any weird animosity. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it kind of frees you from all that, you know, um, it's like it's not yeah. me, it's a business. <laughs> 
Yeah, for sure. A hundred percent. For sure. A hundred percent. Awesome, man. Well, we've reached a time now uh, for you to plug your address, your website, your mm-hmm, Instagram, mm-hmm. Ha- whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. Now's the time to do it. Of course, of course, hundred percent. So, like, definitely, you can you can hit me up um, on Twitter. I'm at Mexican Manchild, and then on Instagram, I'm at Carlos Israel Villarreal. Um, of course, you can always come over to the gallery, four nineteen People Street, or the 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 shop. It's just like a couple doors down, four fifteen People Street. But People Street, we got the whole the whole block over here. We got Commons next door. We got Hybrid Records next door to that. So like it's like a whole retail kind of experience that we're that it's we're like making. It's a vibe. It's, it's a, a vibe, vibe exactly. Everyone, That's what we want. <laughs> and so so we're 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 doing that. Um, uh, and then we have um, we have this this sort of like this 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 weekly sort of event kind of that that we've been throwing a couple times a month. That's called the Link Up. So like look for that. And then also too, we're gonna do the Fourth of July block party. It's going to be like, uh, I can sort of talk about it a little bit. It's going to be a, this like big three-day event, um, uh, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, which is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we're talking like there's going to be like a film aspect, a music aspect. There's going to be like roller skating. There's going to be like, um, we're doing all kinds of like big, it's going to be really, really fun. And um, uh, that's going to be like, we're doing that in conjunction with the city. We're closing down People Street. So definitely keep an eye out for that. We're going to start rolling out some of the some of the uh, the promotion for that pretty soon. Um, but yeah, you know that's what we're doing. So keep, keep awesome, in touch. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize I didn't put two and two together because I interviewed Sierra and I went and visited her shop and I didn't mm-hmm. put it together like when I was there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's like a whole vibe down there, y'all. So <laughs> if you're listening, you haven't been down, definitely check out People Street in general. Downtown in general is like booming it's like thriving it's coming it's back like, it's coming yeah. up big mm-hmm. time so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's where the place to be so uh if you're from out of town listening make sure you check that out um definitely i'll have the links for all the social media in the show notes so all you'll have to do is click it and it will take you directly there uh, again carlos thank you so much for being here man i really appreciate your time i know you're, awesome. you're working right it was really uh, fun yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. And for all of the listeners out there, wherever you're listening, make sure you head out into your community, make a positive change, and do some good today. Thank you, guys, and have a great day. Cool. Take it easy.